गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू माय सेल्फ प्रोफेसर एन वी आड़पे फ्रॉम एस एन डी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड रिसर्च सेंटर एवला वर्किंग एज अ सिस्टम प्रोफेसर इन इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट सो टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट द न्यू 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 टॉपिक ऑफ सब्जेक्ट इलेक्ट्रिकल मेजरमेंट एंड इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन द टॉपिक विच इज based on the unit number 1 that is classification of measuring instrument the topic is construction working principle advantages disadvantages torque equation of moving iron instrument uh, attraction and repulsion type so uh, the measuring instrument the measuring instrument so we know that the measuring instrument means it is a instrument which will compare the compare the two values compare the two values by using any instrument it is called as measuring instrument the definition of moving iron instrument the moving iron instrument the definition of that the instrument in which the moving iron is used for measuring the flow of current or voltage is known as the moving iron instrument means those instrument those instrument in that the moving iron means the moving part is made up of iron material made up of iron material for measuring the voltage and current for measuring the voltage and current it is called as moving iron instrument it works on the principle that the iron placed near the magnet attracts towards it means the iron piece the moving iron piece which will be placed in the in between the magnets in between the magnet and this magnet will attract the iron piece it will attract the iron piece this is your principle of moving iron instrument the force of attraction depends on the strength of the magnet field the at, the force of attraction of the uh, magnet which it depends on the strength the magnetic strength of the magnetic material the magnetic field induced by the electromagnet whose strength depends on the magnitude of current passes through it the magnetic field induced by the electromagnet means the number of flux the number of flux or the region the region of the magnetic field of that strength the strength of the magnetic field depends on the current depends on the current that is your uh, suppose the mag current passing through the it means the when the current when the current flow into the any uh, any magnetic coil then the then the number of turns into current that is product of n into i it is called as mmf and due to this mmf due to this mmf mmf the strength the strength that is the magnetic field will be uh, produced means the flux will be produced as the number of turns is constant then the the magnetic field or the production of magnetic flux which is totally depends on the current this is your principle and definition of moving iron instrument the construction of moving iron instrument is the plate or vein of soft iron 
is used as the moving element of the instrument means the iron material the iron material the soft iron material or soft iron piece which is used as the moving element as the moving element of in the instrument the vane is so placed that it can freely move in the magnetic field of the stationary coil means the stationary coil or the permanent magnet produces the magnetic field and in that magnetic field the soft iron material or the soft wood or the iron vane which is which is placed in between that uh, stationary coil or a permanent magnet in such a way that it can be moved free it can be moved freely or rotated freely the conductor makes the stationary coil and it is excited by the voltage or current whose magnitude is to be the the stationary winding the stationary coil is nothing but the conductor the conductor the conductor of the instrument and it is excited by the voltage or current voltage or the current which have to be measured the moving iron instrument uses the stationary coil of an as an electromagnet the electromagnet is the temporary magnet whose magnetic strength increases or decreases with the magnitude of the current passing through the stationary coil the stationary coil is used as the electromagnet and electro what is electromagnet electromagnet is nothing but the temporary magnet and Whose magnetic field strength, whose magnetic field strength totally depends on the current. As we know that the MMF, which it depends on the number of turns into current, as the number of turns is constant, then the magnetic field, the magnetic field strength that is H and H into L, H is totally depends on the current passing through the. Electro magnet or the stationary coil. This is your construction. This is the construction. This is two electro magnet balance weight W two, W one, W two, W three is the controlling weight. This is your moving iron, moving iron which will be. Uh, move according to the pointer. This is your piston, and this is the air damping chamber. And according to the um, moving of the piston, the pointer will be moved. The pointer will be moved from zero to maximum value. This is your coil winding. This is coil conductor, and. Uh, the connection of the coil conductor is nothing but work by joining this the form the wind so the working of the moving iron instrument the moving iron instrument uses the stationary coil of copper or aluminum wire Which acts as an electromagnet when a current passing through the field. The strength of the magnetic field induced by the electromagnet is directly proportional to the current. Means what? When the current passing through the stationary coil, then it it acts as the electromagnet, and this will be produce the magnetic field and this is this will be depends on the magnitude of current the 
depends on the magnitude of current passing through the head. The plates or vein of the ion pass through the coil, increases the inductance of the stationary coil. And due to the current passing through the passing through the uh, iron material, the inductance of the stationary coil is increases. The inductance is the proportionally of the current which increases the electromotive force when the varying current passing through it. Means the, the inductance of the uh, coil, of any coil which is direct, uh, which is proportional to the electromotive force and and this will be depends on by changing the current, changing the current passes through it. The electromagnet attracts the iron when the when passes through the coil tries to occupy the minimum reluctance path. The electromagnet attracts the iron with and the this iron when passes through the coil, this will pass through the low reluctance path. Low reluctance path means having high permeability. The reluctance is the pro property of the magnet which opposes the flow of flux or the flow of electric current. The wind passes through the coil experience the force of force of repulsion caused by the electromagnet. The repulsion force increases the strength of the coil inductance. And this happens because the inductance and reluctances are inversely proportional to each other. Means the force of repulsion will be caused in the electromagnet and this repulsion, this repulsion force increases the coil inductance, increases the coil inductance. This is your working of the moving iron instrument. The classification of moving iron instrument, there are two types. First one is attraction type and second one is repulsion type moving iron instrument. This will be depends on the force, force of attraction and force of repulsion produced in the electromagnets and the uh, and the iron piece and the iron piece first one is attraction type moving iron instrument the instrument in which the iron plate, plate attracts from the weaker field towards the stronger field such a type of instrument is called as the attraction type instrument in that attraction type instrument the iron plate or the iron piece, it will be attract towards the stronger field, towards the stronger field. This type of instrument, it is called as the attraction type instrument. The construction of attraction type instrument is the stationary coil of the attraction type instrument is flat and has a narrow opening. The moving element is the flat disc of the iron core. The moving element is the flat disc of the iron core. The current flow through the stationary coil through the magnetic field which attracts the iron coil means when the current flow into the stationary coil this will add this force this force will attract the iron coil towards the stationary coil the iron will deflect from the low magnetic field to high magnetic field and the strength of the deflection is directly proportional to the current flowing through the stationary coil in such a way, 
we can say that the ion coil attracts towards steel the attraction type instrument used spring which provided the controlling torque the deflection coil the deflection of the coil is reduced by the aluminum piston which is attached to the moving coil which is attached to the moving coil this is your construction of attraction type moving ion instrument this is moving coil this is controlling weight for reducing the for reducing the uh, torque for uh, for the controlling torque and this is the other connections are same weight balance control weight and alm temper temper the second one is repulsion type instrument in that the the stationary coil in that repulsion type of instrument two has two way two iron plates one is fixed and other is movable this is fixed Fixed coil and this is your movable iron coil. The vane becomes become magnetized when the current passes through the stationary coil and the force of repulsion occurs between them. In that, when the current flowing through the stationary coil, the force of repulsion will be produced in the. Uh, between the two coil that is uh, stationary coil and moving coil because of the repulsion force the moving coil starts rotating away from the fixed vane the spring provides the controlling torque the air friction increases increase induces the damping torque which opposes the movement of the coil the repulsion type instrument is a non polarized instrument that is free from the direction of current passing through it thus it is used for both ac and dc measurement this is your moving uh, repulsion type moving iron instrument the advantage of moving iron instrument is it is used as a universal instrument means it is used for the both ac as well as dc current and it is also used for the uh, independent of the direction of the current uh, less friction error the friction error, error is very less in moving iron instrument because their torque weight ratio is very high the torque ratio the torque weight ratio is high because their their current carrying part is stationary and moving parts are lighter in weight lighter in weight next is stiffness the moving iron instrument required less number of turns as compared to pmmc instrument therefore it is the cheaper because the, the number of turns it is less so the the cost of the copper or aluminum conductor is reduced next one is robustness the instrument is robust because of their simple construction and also because their current carrying part is stationary the disadvantages of moving iron instrument is the accuracy the scale of the moving iron instrument is not uniform and hence the accurate result is not possible errors some serious errors occur in the instrument because of the hysteresis frequency and stray magnetic field waveform error the mi instrument the deflection torque is not directly proportional to the square of the current because of the waveform error occur in the instrument 
the difference between ac and dc calibration the calibration of ac and dc are the deferred because of the effect of the inductance of the meter and the ed current which is used on ac the ac is calibrated on the frequency at which they will be the type of the two types of errors in the mi instrument that is error which is occurs on both ac and dc and the error which only occurs on the ac system so thank you so stop here thank you